Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, this time it's going to be, um, I guess it'd be like a part two of something I've, a topic I've already kind of talked about very briefly in my very first YouTube video, um, which I recorded with my cell phone. <laughs> um, and, and that is cheat meals. So I see on social media a lot and even real life in person situations where people talk about cheat meals and refeed days and um, if it fits in your macros, things like that, um, all relating to cheat meals. And um, my take on cheat meals is that for me personally, I don't need them. Um, cheat meals, in my opinion, are what got me to weighing 232 pounds in the first place. Um, I am a binge eater, so when I have a cheat meal, I don't stop there. I, I keep going and it turns into cheat day. It went from cheat meal to cheat day to cheat week. And then it's just a horrible, it's just a horrible cycle. So I don't do um, cheat meals for that reason. I, I feel like they really kept me back from um, making the most out of my results. So um, I, I think I was in that mentality for a few years and it would be like eat good during the week and then screw up on the weekends and then you hate Monday and it's just it's a vicious cycle you're losing the same five or ten pounds over and over again um, and you know I'm not knocking cheat meals because I think that they work for certain people <laughs> um, I don't think they're a good idea for binge eaters just because it's like giving an I mean some people might not agree with this but to me it's like giving and telling an alcohol uh, alcoholic to go out with you to a bar and you know that'd be like me taking an alcoholic out to a bar and I don't drink beer but if I I don't drink alcohol period but if I did um that'd be like me saying oh I'm just gonna have a couple beers and then ordering the alcoholic a couple beers too and saying just be satisfied with that we're just gonna go see it's social it's fun we're just doing this this one time and you know don't have another beer for another year or something like that. Just something to that extent. The alcoholic can't do that. Um, they can't just have two beers and, and call it a day. That's why they're in the, that's why they're alcoholics. They can't stop, they're addicted to alcohol. So in my opinion, it's kind of the same um, with people who are addicted to food, binge eaters like myself. Um, I have a hard time having just one of something and letting it go. So the other aspect to cheat meals that um, I don't agree with is one of the reasons, the other reason why I don't do them is I, since I was a binge eater, I have had a lifetime of cheat meals. Multiple cheat meals, every meal of every day, um, probably to last me 200 years. And um, some people probably don't like that or don't like that I'm saying that or don't agree with it, but it's the truth. You don't get to be overweight and um, overly fat um, to that extent without, without eating too many cheat meals. So I don't feel that I have anything coming to me. I don't feel entitled to have cheat meals like oh I did this workout you know I deadlifted and I did back and this and that and I did cardio for 30 40 minutes whatever I should be able to have this one cheat on Saturday night I don't feel entitled whatsoever to that because like I said I've had enough cheat meals to last me hundreds of years and I think that if a lot of people were honest with themselves they would look at it the same way um I think that people need to eat for their goals. If your goal is to lean out, to cut weight, um, then you need to be eating for that. So yeah, you might not like eating egg whites and things like that, but 
guess what? That's what you need to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't let um, cheat meals stand in your way. Like, they're great for people who can do them, um, people maybe who are not binge eaters and, and who maybe, um, I don't know, I guess just people who aren't binge eaters, I would say. Um, that's great for them. I am, I am jealous in a way because I wish I could do that, but I just don't stop. And somebody had said, a family member had said, well, what if you just have this piece of cake and then that's it? Like, I cut you off there and you're done. And it's like, no, you don't understand. I will leave your house after I eat that piece of cake and I will find a Krispy Kreme drive-thru. I will, I will go to the store and get my own cake. Like, it's not that easy. So, um, I've, I've seen it, I've seen other people go through that, struggling with it, and you know, they fall victim to that, you deserve a cheat meal, refeed, um, crap. And you know what, that doesn't work for everyone. Physically, I guess, physiologically, yes, that would work, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but yes, ideally that would work. But mentally, it does not it does not translate. So if any of you are out there and you you don't do cheat meals um, for any of these reasons, if you want to comment down below um, and let me know your experiences, your stories, um, I would love to hear them. Thanks for watching, guys.